I think everybody really loves the 13th week of pregnancy because you're not feeling like crap anymore. No more nausea or vomiting. That usually goes away. Do you feel good and you're not quite big yet? It's a good time. That was my favorite time. Hey, future mommies, if you're watching this video, you're probably around 13 weeks of pregnancy. You are watching In the Pink, and if you're new here, In the Pink means good health and spirit. So if you like being healthy and happy, click subscribe because you're in the right place. But let's dive in real quick and talk about 13 weeks because it really is a great time to be pregnant. So at 13 weeks, your baby is about three inches long and weighs about one ounce, which is about as much weight as a pencil and it is about as big as a lump. Your baby is developing so quickly and is going through some big changes, especially their intestines. So up until now, believe it or not, the intestines were mainly growing inside the umbilical cord. But at this point now, they are moving out of the umbilical cord and into the abdomen, which is where they'll stay. The baby is also starting to develop bones in the arms and in the legs, and the vocal cords are starting to develop too. As for you, number one, 99% of miscarriages are gonna happen before you enter the second trimester. So if you're 13 weeks and if you've heard a heartbeat on the ultrasound or on the Doppler, then you are very unlikely to miscarry at this point. So like your chances are like teeny tiny. And the reason is because most miscarriages are caused because of genetic abnormalities in the embryo that wouldn't allow it to be compatible with life. And so the embryo miscarries on its own early in pregnancy in the first trimester. So now that you're past that, you can take a deep sigh of relief and start planning to have a baby because that's most likely what's gonna happen. So what that means is it's time to start saving for baby essentials. So I'm talking like a car seat and a crib or a bassinet and other baby essentials. I'll put a link to some of my favorite must-haves in the description down below because my baby's about two months old right now and she is my fourth baby. So I can tell you what you absolutely need to have and what you really can do without. And hey, if you'd be interested in me doing a video about what baby products you need versus stuff that you really don't need but it's nice to have around, let me know. I'm not really planning on doing a video on that, but if it's something that would interest you, maybe it's something that I can do in the future. The other great thing about entering the second trimester is that this is the point where you are really gonna start to feel well. Probably the best time during your pregnancy, at least it was for me. The nausea and the vomiting for the most women start to go away. You stop feeling like you're exhausted all the time and need to sleep 18 hours a day so if you're thinking about going on a vacation or if you want to start working on the nursery or you need to start doing some baby shopping this is a great time to do it because this is when you really really feel your best so this is a really good time to start shopping for maternity clothes now for some women they're gonna be showing quite a bit by now and for others you may not it depends on how many pregnancies you've had and what your body's gonna do here's a couple of tricks that you can do if you're not ready for full-blown maternity pants but you're just starting to squeeze out of them a little bit. So first, get an elastic hairband. You attach it to the button and then loop it through your loophole and then back to your button. That gives you a couple of extra inches of wiggle room. Another option is to buy a maternity waistband. Now these are so handy, I highly recommend having it. Basically, you don't have to button or zip your pants at all. You just wrap this baby over your pants and it covers up the unbuttoned and unzipped pants. And it offers some coverage to your baby belly as well. It's also great after you've had your baby. So it might be a surprise for you to learn that you don't just walk out of the hospital in your pre-pregnancy clothing. You're gonna have some swelling, you're gonna have some weight, and it takes a little bit of time to fit back into your pre-baby clothing. For some of us, we actually never do make it back into our pre-baby clothing. But as you're working through your recovery from your delivery, these maternity elastic belts are really nice as well. Also, be sure to pick up a new bra. Your breasts are gonna be bigger now, and so you wanna have a comfortable bra that supports your new, you know, robust pregnant breast size. You're gonna still be bigger than you normally are. You can continue to wear this larger size bra even while you're breastfeeding after you're delivered. Now for my tip of the week. I've already mentioned to be sure to take your prenatal vitamins, take vitamin D supplementation, make sure you are drinking plenty of water and wearing sunscreen. But as for today, my tip is keep as healthy as possible by washing your hands frequently. It's the cough and cold season right now. It's January. And not only are we dealing with the regular cough and flu season, we're also dealing with COVID. And honestly, you definitely don't wanna get COVID while pregnant. And the best way to do this is washing your hands. And if you aren't in a place where you can wash your hands, make sure you use hand sanitizer. Now, 
If this is your first time to my channel, I recommend that you check out some of my earlier pregnancy videos. There is a ton of important information that you should know that I didn't put in this video today. But I've created a playlist to make it easy to find and I'll put that down here. Click on that video and I will see you over there. It has doubled in size over the past three weeks. You still can't feel any baby movements yet, but the baby is definitely moving and you can really see that very well on ultrasound.